Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra and Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising in this cross-watching and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look and see what the tarot predicts for you in terms of love, romance, matters of the heart. For those of you single, for those of you coupled up, this is going to be a general reading. So please be mindful of that. If you're after personal tarot with myself, I do offer those. Feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here. Okay guys, so I'm going to give the cards a shuffle and see what messages are coming in for you. yellow here especially on this side i feel like you know the color symbolism for yellow is optimism is joy is warmth it's vibrancy so i feel like things are finally looking up for you for a lot of you i feel like for those of you that have been going through an emotionally difficult and challenging time or period in your life things are going to get better as they say you know there's always a brighter day after a dark night so for a lot of you i feel like take comfort in the in the fact that things are picking up i'm seeing momentum is picking up i'm seeing progression here i'm seeing a lot of movement i'm seeing things being propelled and accelerated all in the right direction so let's begin with the eight of pentacles there's something here you've been working really hard and i feel like whatever it is that you've been working on it finally pays off is the way i see it something that you've been putting in a lot of your time your energy and attention towards whether it's a romantic energy a relationship um wh whether it's improving yourself your health or just the relationship you have with yourself it finally starts i'm seeing it finally starts working out for you okay for some of you i feel like there's a relationship you here you've been trying to fix or you've been trying to work towards or you've been trying to patch something up i'm seeing something is getting repaired it's getting fixed it's getting solved something's getting reconciled here for you so and um the one thing that i want to say i feel like it's your efforts here, okay? Your efforts here have been... You have put in so much of your time and your energy to this person or to this thing or to whatever it is that you've been working on that there was no way you could have failed because of all of the energy and the, the drive and the de determination and the focus that I'm picking up in this reading, there was no way this could this thing could have failed for you, okay? I'm seeing forward progression, forward momentum. I feel like for a lot of you, I'm seeing a lot of communication as well. There's a lot of communication back and forth. If you've been in a relationship and if it's been stagnant, you want block something. So blocked energies become unblocked. Where there was stagnation, there's a lot of forward momentum. So for those of you that are in a relationship, get ready because I feel like Things are really picking up for you. You might be elevating your relationship, your connection to the next level. For those of you that are single, you have news just as good as well. Because uh, I'm seeing a lot of new romantic energy coming into your life, okay? Especially if you're active on dating um, apps or any online uh, platforms. I'm seeing you connecting and making new um, connections here with a lot of people. There's a lot of excitement here, a lot of energy here, especially when it comes to love and romance. You're in a very strong position, the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles. For some of you, I am seeing that you're building a very strong foundation with someone, okay? So strong earth energy, Taurus, Virgo or Capricorn is coming in around you, or this person may just have like earth placement somewhere in their natal chart. You're, you're building what you have with this person is very stable I feel like this is someone who's really invested in you and it doesn't matter what comes your way what difficulties what setbacks I feel like this person is willing to fight and is willing to work for this relationship and is really willing to work with uh, with you through things here I feel like who you have and what you have with this person feels unbreakable guys it feels like this is someone who is in it for the long term, for the long haul. It feels like this is someone who wants to build, I'm getting the message, and build an empire with you, okay? The Nine of Pentacles, it may just be a reminder to do you, okay? It may just be a reminder that some of you need to invest in yourself or build that better relationship with yourself if you haven't already. Or even, you know, if you've got, you know, quite a good relationship with yourself, just don't forget about prioritizing your happiness, okay? Um, and don't 
don't ever like take the key to your happiness and place it in someone else's pockets because some of you maybe at times you look to outside external factors or influences for your happiness okay some of you i i'm hearing that you're telling yourself i'm going to be happy you know when i lose weight i'm going to be happy when i have this relationship i'm going to be happy you know when i meet this goal start acting happy now okay because at the end of the day you're ultimately you know you you no one else is responsible for your happiness so this is just a little reminder to start investing into yourself a little bit more because essentially the relationship you build with yourself is it sets the tone for all future relationships so if you love you, you will start attracting people who will love you in much the same manner. Okay, If you invest in yourself, you will attract energies who are going to invest in you as well. Speaking of attracting energies, you've got the Knight of Wands. I'm seeing that there is something happening really quickly for you. For those of you that are single, I did mention that I see new romantic energies coming in for you. There is someone here who I feel like is really rushing towards you. This is someone who I feel like is extremely attracted to you, has their eyes set on you. And this is someone who I feel like really wants to get to know you, wants to build a future or a connection with you. Um, the Knight of Wands is a bit of a scattered energy. This is someone who comes out of the blue as well, guys. I feel like, and for those of you, if you're single and if you're, it's almost like I'm hearing you say, you know, I don't want any relationships. I'm done with relationships. I'm done with men or I'm done with women or I'm done with, you know, I'm, I'm looking, I'm, um, I'm looking at for me, okay, I'm, and I'm working on me. That's great, but I feel like even when you least expect it, or especially when you least expect it, and even if you're not looking for a relationship or if you're not looking for anyone, um, that's too bad because this person has their eyes set on you and this person is looking for exactly what you have to offer. So all of a sudden, and it's funny because just when you get to a point where you're happy on your own or you're happy with where things are, or you're just, you know, you're, you're content and you're satisfied and you're, you're happy with where you are and you're happy with where you're going all of a sudden, because you've raised and elevated your vibration, you start attracting people who are, you know, who match that level of happy, happiness and who match that level of vibration. And in comes this energy. This person feels like a strong fire energy. Someone very athletic. Someone very, uh, someone who's in great shape. Uh, I feel like this person really hits the gym, gym or works out a lot. Uh, tall. I'm seeing tall. I'm seeing a very masculine energy, even if it's for a female. It's an alpha female, very masculine energy. Someone who's very independent, who knows what she or he wants okay and who goes after it so someone here who i feel like they have their eyes on you okay and they it's almost like they're competing as well they're competing for your attention here but this person again they come out of the blue not expected you totally weren't looking for a relationship you weren't you totally weren't looking for this person um, this person can, like just enters your life very quickly, very swiftly, and takes you by surprise. Things will happen very fast with this energy. Things will happen very fast with this energy. Sometimes you might even catch yourself off guard of, at just how quickly things progress with you and this person. What can I say? When it feels right, it feels right. Hey, who is anyone to de um, determine or dictate the pace at which things should travel along? So. Don't listen to anyone who tells you this is happening too fast or, you know, this person is moving too quickly. If it feels right to you, then it must be right, right? At the end of the day, you're the expert on your relationship, guys. All right, really hone in on your dreams here with the High Priestess energy. Some of you, I feel like you're receiving some very powerful messages from your spirit or your angel guides regarding, you know, your life's directions and regarding relationships and just regarding um, yourself as well. Some of you, I feel like if you can try keep a dream journal, if you can try and really memorize or remember some of your dreams, because you're receiving some very important and crucial information that I feel like might really help you moving forward. Some of you might even be... Um, having a lot of premonitions as well because I'm seeing dreams are going to be very powerful synchronicities are going to be equally as powerful um okay and what do I see with the knight of pentacles some of you you might need to get into more of a routine okay something I feel like you need to keep working at something in order for it to manifest or in order for it to start showing up in your life so you need to give something that little bit more effort okay if like some of you are in a relationship and you think like, oh, okay, we're not compatible or, you know, it's just not working. Okay, have you exhausted all your options? Have you compromised? Have you met each other halfway? Have you done all that you could do? Because so don't throw something away just because you feel like 
it's not working out for you okay try alternative options or work at it a little bit longer is what i'm getting okay you're coming up as a seven of swords energy some of you i feel like you may be put in a position where you feel like you have to sugarcoat something here now it doesn't make you a bad person but it's like you, you it's almost like you have to tell this person a, a little white lie okay um because some of you i feel like it's almost like you're avoiding trying to hurt this person or avoid trying hurting their feelings okay just make sure that that whatever it is that you're telling to this person or that thing doesn't come back and bite you on the butt later okay so i get it you're trying to avoid hurting their feelings i get it you're trying it's just a little fabrication just a little embellishment i get it but make sure it's not damaging to the connection here okay more fire i feel like your relationship is going to be on fire is going to be a blaze here i'm seeing new romantic energies i'm seeing um, connections being elevated i'm seeing passions emotions running really high a lot of attraction a lot of energy when it comes to relationships for those of you in relationships a lot of movement for those of you coupled up i'm seeing elevation possible engagements moving in together getting a lot more intimate a lot more busy here for those of you um, not coupled up for those of you single i'm seeing single them isn't going to last very long because i'm seeing new energies coming into your life okay a lot of excitement a lot of excitement take advantage of this frenzied energy because it's funny because everything is happening sort of all at once for you. Okay, and for some of you, you're going to have to choose between... You're either choosing between two different people, okay? You want him, but you also want this person. You want her, but you also want her. Or you want this, but you also want that. Or you have to choose between a relationship or a career. Um, some of you, I'm getting the, the message, choose the path less traveled because it's not so crowded there. And it'll be worth it in the end. I don't know what that means for some of you, but... I just had to relay that back. And for others of you, I feel like make this decision. Okay, this decision not only has to seem logical, but it has to feel right. Because you guys are air signs, right? You're always in your head about a situation. You're always like, you know, you're always trying to assess the logics behind something, right? If it makes sense, okay? Sometimes things make sense. They make a lot of sense, okay? They make a lot of logic sense, but they don't make sense emotionally, okay? But emotionally, it just doesn't feel right. So... Whatever it is here, maybe try and... Yes, it has to make sense, I get it. But for some of you, try and leave logic out of the equation. Does it feel right? Does it feel right? Does it feel right if you choose this person? Does it feel right if you choose that over that? So as long as it feels right, it can't be wrong, right? The chariot, something key goes ahead for you. And again, I'm seeing like relationships. I'm seeing movement here. For some of you that were in two minds about a decision, okay? I feel like you'll, you'll, make, you'll end up making the right decision. And you will know because somehow I feel like your thoughts or your feelings are going to be validated. I don't know, by a tarot reading, by something someone says or does, or just simply through emotion here. Some... A decision in which you were at crossroads or you've been straddling the fence about this very thing. Finally, I feel like you'll be at ease with what it is you decide on, like, in the end. The Eight of Cups. I see some of you walking away from something. So maybe it's, you know, you're going to have to choose this person over that. So you're going to choose someone, but you're going to have to leave someone or something behind. Um... Sometimes we have to do that, okay? Sometimes we have to leave people behind because they're not going where we're going, okay? We can't take them because they need to work on themselves or they have a different path to follow. So don't feel so guilty. Sometimes you outgrow relationships and you shouldn't try to shrink yourself just to fit something that you outgrew a long time ago. So don't feel so guilty about making a decision that works best for you, okay? And don't feel, I mean, life is made up of cycles, right? People come come into your life, they enter your life, and then they leave. Some come and then some stay. You know, whatever role this person is meant to play, ultimately, they will play that role, okay? So don't feel so guilty about having to leave something behind in order to pursue what you want, okay? Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, this is your life we're talking about, Okay, so I'm seeing closures and I'm seeing relationships or connections, even friendships or even like business alliances here coming to an end. It feels bittersweet because you know this thing ends, but then you know there's so much more that awaits for you in the near future. All right, my lovelies, these are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by subscribing to this channel. I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.